and hoping you have gone through this. The content which I mentioned, you have gone through this. Don't worry, I will make it very simple, the same topic. You can easily practice and you must practice today after the session. Sir, you are conducting on Saturday for one and a half hour. Is it really important? Power B, comma, tabular cubes. Power B, cube development. Power BA developer Delhi. Both are two different companies. Senior Power BA developers. Power platforms. TCC is hiring Power BA platform administrator Pune. Power BA developer SSIA CTL. Immediate opening for Power Platform admin. Azure Power BA Power Apps Power SRS. Data Architect, Microsoft Power BI Application Developer, Accenture. A few opportunities I open, kindly look into. First opportunity, We are looking for a Power BI Cube development with minimum of five years. The candidate should be able to understand business requirements. Power BI dashboard development, SSAS Cube development, both multi-dimensional tabular. Tax MDX, experience in X, SQL. Experienced in SQL. Good to have knowledge of other reporting tools like Tableau, ClickView, or SSIS RS, something. See, clearly they mentioned Power BA plus SSAS. DAX and MDX. I will give you understanding about it because this is your environment you are supposed to know. This is additional, not compulsory. One company and opportunity. Now, Power BA developer 2 to 6. They clearly mention Tabular Cube, Power BA. Power BA and Tabular Cube. Senior Power BA developer, Power Platform. See, Cubes, Reports. BA products including reports, dashboards, schedules, and cubes. TCS. Power BA report server. Power BA service. And we have cube topic as well. No power B. I'm not able to see where exactly they mention. And look at this. Power BI developer. Azure analysis services. AAS. Tabular model. Please look into this board. Azure analysis services. Tabular model.
next like this there are many opportunities guys ss as okay analysis services reporting models so hoping you understood the importance of today's session everywhere everywhere you will find it no doubt in that so you can ask which component you are explaining in the demo level i explained many times power bi even regular class also explained many times look at this these are your day to day systems this is a etl processing area day to day transaction systems etl extract transformation load area file stays area data warehouse area so more volumes of data available here and then cubes come into the picture cubes to take required volume this is so warehouse for more volumes and cubes for required storage plus aggregates and this is also database specially designed database cube cube is a specially designed database and here more volume means you will be having tb to pb sub storage and the cube level we never load tb send on gb sub storage only we will take and it is good for the organizations it is good for the organizations who wants effective reporting and dashboard construction okay now so this is on premises process on premises process level here we take ssis in this area here we take ssas here we take ssrs which are of msba components microsoft ba components msba stands for microsoft business intelligence is as rs integration services and also services reporting services now this is on premises in msba level ssas coming to azure level aas azure analysis services azure analysis services so this analysis services at cloud level this analysis services at on premises level then what are the differences hope you understand which component we will discuss this is the component we are discussing so let me write here analysis services helps to create it helps to create a cube database with storage 
and aggregates aggregate and analytical information for which reason it is helpful suitable for analysis and reporting so what do you mean by analysis analysis indicate analyzing in excel procure etc applications reporting indicate retrieving in power bi ssrs click view etc reporting tools etc reporting tools and analysis services is part of microsoft ba since 2005 2005 with a model called multi dimensional model Comma. In 2012, Tabular Cube announced. Tabular Cube for analysis services announced. We have in the cloud Azure level Tabular Cube. Tabular Cube mechanism in the name of AAS, Azure Analysis Services. So do not confuse guys, SSAS means on-premise operations, on-premise operation, SQL Server, Analysis Services. AAS means Azure Analysis Services. This is cloud operation. Cloud operation. Any questions? Any questions? No, sir. All right. Now I will explain SSAS on premise first. It has two models. multidimensional model
tabular model. So multidimensional model. More storage. More storage actually. More complex. First of all, this is important. Sir, you mean more storage required, sir? It's not like that actually, depending on the situation. In case you have more storage, then go for multidimensional model. That is old model. So I'm telling you why people prefer a tabular model now, and then we go for practice. Please look into this, everyone. Multidimensional model available since 2005. It will support more storage than tabular cube. And more complex also. Many concepts also available. And here we use multi-dimensional engine. A regular engine. And a language called MDX use. Multi-dimension expression language. And tabular model. Since 2013, so 2012, both on premise and cloud both available available normal storage limited concepts not more concepts and vetty pack or x velocity engine this is the fastest engine. Fastest engine. And DAX language. This is what. Then why companies prefer Tabular Cube and Power, Power BA? Power BI and tabular cubes. If you closely observe, Power BI is an inspired product. Product of tabular cube and SSRS. Both combination will find in the Power BI. Tabular cube in 2012, Power BI in 2013, and common topics, both the places common topics, A, modes, do you discuss about import mode, direct query mode, those modes are common both the places, that means tabular cube will store the data. Second one, engine, same engine. X velocity or vertipack engine. This can also be called in memory engine or vertipack engine. See, both the places we have in memory process, we can store the data. Both the places we have DAX language. Both the places we have DAX language. Modeling, common. Modeling means relationships. Modeling is common.
See, these are all common topics. Tabular cube and power BI. Relationships and the security, the RLS, low level security, etc. But what we don't have, for tabular cube level, we don't have reporting. Why companies prefer Power, power BI and tabular cubes? Common topics, okay. This is the first point. This is the second point. Last point is, last point, in case a database or storage, a storage or database with all transforms, comma, modeling, comma, calculations available, no need to do in Power BI. This is the advantage. Tabular cube level, we can get the data, we can transform the data, we can model the data, relationships we can establish, we can perform calculations. All as you are doing in the tabular cube level, no need to do in the Power BI. Simply, um, I will conclude here. Storage and processing in one area, that is tabular cube. Reporting another area. That is Power BI. Storage processing one area, reporting another area, that is Power BI. This picture, you guys should be clear enough. Yeah. All of yes, you sir. clear with this picture? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir. Very hot dog. Tablet Q1 and 4 a different chapter. Tablet cube is a, I meant here, right? Storage and processing area only. It is separate component. Power BI level, we do everything, but companies are using tabular cube level data storage, data processing, and Power BI level only reporting. Both are different. Power BI reporting BA component, reporting component. Tabular cube is not a BA component. Just analytical component, analytical model creation component. Not only tabular cube, cube. Helps to create a cube database with storage and aggregate and analytical operations, storage, comma, aggregate analytical operations. I will explain a little more. See, this is the one. If you look at this picture, everyone, this is the cube, maybe multidimensional tabular cube, a separate storage. And here is a plus reporting, only reporting. Here is a plus cube. Here is a place only reporting. So in case you have a cube with data, cube with aggregate, like some average, etc. Cube with analytical, like rank, row number, top value, bottom value, analytical, then no need to do in the reporting level. Reporting level directly we can retrieve and get it. I will conclude here one more time. Important uses of tabular cubes in organizations. Top, top and rich technical knowledge companies creating tabular cubes Tabular cube with storage and calculations, comma, refreshing, refreshing frequently.
simple stuff. Asking reporting people to directly generate report. Report without any calculations. Any storage and calculations. So if you have storage, data aggregate analytical information, no need to do in this reporting level. Reporting level, no need to store, transform, model, and calculations. Directly, we can go for visualization. That's the reason here, AS developers will sit in those companies, not everyone some companies age developers will sit and here report developers will participate they don't bother about the data loading aggregates creation etc now got clarity at least Guys, got clarity? Yes, sir. Everyone, yes, sir. Please, please confirm because you are spending your valuable time on Saturday. It's not normal time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't listen hard. So, companies are maintaining a separate data storage with separate aggregate analytical data and daily refreshing it or weekly refreshing it account to their company granular. granular. Ultimately, they ask the reporting people, you don't do anything from your side, you just go for visualization. Coming to Power BI level, the advantage is we have common topics between these two. The reason Power BI is an advanced solution of Tabular Cube. Tabular Cube level reporting not available, Power BI level available, little more available, little more concepts. SAP BO is different pressure. Now, sir, will I get this material? Yes, you have wonderful material in your material area. I'll show you. In that material, I given complete tabular cube content. See, this is your all materials folder. See, this is a tabular model for Power BI students. And this is for everyone. This is for everyone. In case you want to keep two years of experience in SSAS, these documents are helpful for you. You can keep, but I will take today till one year experience or six, um, six months experience. And you guys prepare a little more by following the materials so that you can keep till two years in your resume level. These are all materials. Very detailed explained. SAP BO is SAP component, not part of power of MSBA. MSBA has three components only, majorly, IS, AS, RS. So this is my document I will open, guys. This is a shortcut document, at least you practice it. Read it and practice. Don't neglect, read and practice. Everything I given clearly. What is cube? Why do we require? What is multidimensional cube? What is tabular cube? What is SSAS? Why do we require SSAS? Tabular model, multidimensional model, Power BI and tabular model, tabular model process, Power BI and tabular model common concepts. This is a major reason why people prefer tabular model.
క్యూబ్స్ కి సెపరేట్ స్టోరేజ్ ఉంటుంది సార్ ఇప్పుడు టేబుల్స్ అని మనం ఆల్్రెడీ క్యూబ్ లో స్టోర్ చేసుకుంటాం ఫర్ రికార్డింగ్ సెపరేట్ స్టోరేజ్ ఉంటుంది పర్ఫెక్ట్ ఓకే ఓకే సో దట్ వి నీడ్ టు ఎస్ వి నీడ్ టు గెట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ సర్వీస్ yes as we will see now sir okay sir how do we operate storage where it is stored i will explain you everything sir one more question sir yes sir ikkada point number e direct query and import modes unnada sir manaki future la cover aitha sir topic power bi lo separate ga ah pakka pakka cover avutundi chaala detail ga cheptanu one material la kuda cover avutundi okay sir okay it's very very important sir okay sir thank you and uh, let me continue with the practical this is the theory part for now now practical we'll see practically what is required and what i'm going to do next couple of minutes first one tabular cube practical components what are required tabular cube creation tabular cube database creation these two topics and after that using tabular cube in power bi and there are two modes available one is import mode and second one connect live those two modes i will explain you a tabular cube first one similar to database engine it requires a storage storage and processing instance you can say tabular server required however database engine required an instance the same way storage and processing instance required that is called tabular server kindly ignore spelling mistakes and little bit of grammatical mistakes i'm not focusing on that now this is the first one second one to create logical cube to implement operations before cube database creation before database creation an application called ssdt what is ssdt sql server data tools this application to create logical queue to implement operations before cube database creation before database creation so we need an application called ssdt sql so data tools or visual studio which has which has remember visual studio which has ba enable ba enable so either ssdt or visual studio compulsory required these are the two things required sufficient first we will work on it guys this is a software i already provided even the links also given go to this softwares this is 17 or 19 in the internet 2022 also available 2022 also if you want this software you can message me so that i will be sharing in your email id if you really want it otherwise i will share general links you download and use it normal only previously given softwares only either 17 or 19 just click on it click on it the same software i used for sql server database engine creation the same software i used for sql server database engine creation let me click setup click yes installation new sql server installation
click next. Click next. Perform a new installation of 2019. Click next. Specify a free edition normal. Next. I accept license terms. Next. Here, earlier I mentioned database engine. This time you mentioned analysis services. The first step, feature selection, analysis services. This is a feature I want to install. Click next. Instance name. Any name, instance name, click next. Click next. This is important. How do you want to content work with tabular mode? So first one feature, Select analysis services. Second, which mode you want? Analysis services level, power pivot available, tabular model available, multidimensional available. So I ask you to go for tabular cubes. Then how do you current and operate? Mention the account, user account. Current user means whoever connected now, he will work on the tabular cube. Add in the sense, you can add some other user. Let me go to current user, add current user. In case you want to add a different user, click add, mention user, Windows server user, any server user. Tabular queue, click next, click install. Hardly it will take two to three minutes of time and install the analysis services tabular queue instance right i already installed once the installation completed you can find in the services level analysis services tabular cube Already running. I already installed not one, two instances you are able to see. This is one server or one instance, second server or second instance, two available in my machine. I will continue with this. This is my server name. When I take 2017 T. Okay. Fine. This is ready. What next? Ensure you are able to control this using SSMS. I forget to tell you, SSMS also required here. SQL Server, Management Studio. This is to see and explore, only to see and explore cube components. See, explore. Cube components and write DAX queries to perform operations. These are all possible. Let me open SSMS, SQL Server Management Studio. So where is the software? That is also available. In the software links, I'm going to give you software links. There it is available or you can download from internet. This is the way you will get SSMS. Click next, next, finish. It will not ask you anything. 
during installation except basic protocols except basic protocols after this you will find a tool like this you can search ssms Sir, it is same as SQL Server, right? I mean, when we work, we work on SSMS, right? No, sir. SSMS is to work with multiple servers. You worked on database engine. This is SQL Server. Now we are going for analysis services. Okay. It is one of the richest studio in the world to connect and work with multiple instances. Database instance, analysis instance, reporting, integration, even Azure also data. Is your couple of databases you want to connect? You can connect. Here it is possible. I go for analysis services, server name, yeah, my server name, my authentication, Windows, I mentioned Windows. So this is type, this is name, this is authentication. Click connect. See, it is connecting. If it is not connecting, don't start your practice. No use of it. It is connecting. This is an icon. Databases, already two databases available. I will remove. I don't require those. I will remove. Is this okay? Good. This is also ready. See, no cube database available. And what is required? So this is the instance install. And using tool, you are able to come to instance. First one, you install this instance. Second one, you are able to come to the instance using tool. Just to see, monitor, and to perform operations. That's okay. But one more component I said. What's a component? Either SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools, or a Visual Studio, which has BA enabled. So this is a software. Software, SQL Server Data Tools. Either install this or Visual Studio install it, which has BA enabled. Once you install it, once you install it, you will find like this startup menu, come down, Visual Studio. So tool also ready, Visual Studio. How do you ensure, sir, BA installed or not? So BA enabled or not? File menu, new project, analysis services, tab project. Sir, what is the difference? Okay, we'll come to this. What I'm going to do next. Service is running, tool is available. Next process. Tabular cube creation. First one, identify your source to generate tabular cube with storage 
or without, without storage or with storage. Storage, comma, relation modeling and relation. So modeling and calculations. So identify the source. This is my source. Regularly we are using the classroom source, the same source, seven name, June or anyone. This is Excel sheet we are using the same I'm going to use today. This is my source, source is ready. What next? Second one, open SSDT or Visual Studio BA enabled. Visual Studio BA enabled. First one, extract the source data. First, extract the source data. Transform if required. Establish relationships. If possible, create hierarchies. If required, create hierarchies. And create calculated columns. Create calculated measures in case you want to create. Create KPA if required. Apply rollable security if required. So once you're ready with all this, I want to deploy. deploy so that what will happen so this is step one identify source step two ssdt operation and step three after deploying ssms Tabular instance. Look at the cube database. With all the above features. These concepts. This is a three step process. Now, Power BI level continuation. Step four, use the above cube database. Cube database, maybe import more or connect live more. And go for direct reporting. Note, no need to do. transformation, modeling, and calculations, creation. No need to do in the Power BI. Directly, you can go for reporting. We will see this. Diagrammatically, this is a picture. your source data, maybe file or database or anything. SSDT is a tool. This is a tool it will take. And here we create logical queue. Coming to our notepad steps. This is step one, source identification. Logical queue, step two. And tabular queue deployment, if you want, this logical cube in this area, you must deploy. This is step three. Finally, reporting area, step four. You can generate reports.
this is a process we are going to implement. Let me go now. You know our data storage area. I will open SSDT or Visual Studio startup menu. Visual Studio. File menu. New project. Analysis Services Tabular, Analysis Services Tabular Project. Mention here name. When I edit, SSAS, Power BI, Project. This is a project name. Business analysis data mark project. The length is bigger. Business analysis data mark. This is a project name. Solution name also I'm taking the same. No problem. Or you want to differentiate? Mention here project. I'm reducing the space project. And this is solution. A solution contain multiple projects, but I don't have any solution. So I'm creating project and solution at a time. Usually a solution contain multiple projects. As I don't have any solution, I'm creating solution project at a time. Right now, one solution containing one project. And this is a storage area. I want to keep our same name batch folder. In this area, I want to play. This is the area. Browse. Go to this batches. Seven name. Okay. Click, okay. Asking me, workspace server. Temporarily, it will save the data and information in a particular area. That is a workspace server area. I will take the same only. The main only I will take as a temporary storage area, the same. How do we copy this? Connect analysis services. It is showing here, just copy it, control C. Come down to this, control V. I'll click OK. Ready, sir. It is open. You can create one by one. That is one way. Tabular Model Explorer. Or you can close it. No issues. This is a blank interface. And a little old interface. But when it, when it comes to new, new interface slightly different. But features almost similar. You correlate and work on it. I am going to use now model menu, table menu, column menu, menu, and then build menu. These are the menus I am going to use now. And this is to create the model, the source retrieval, and multiple topics. And this is to construct a table. And this is to add a column. 
construct a column. I will go to model menu, import from data source. Go to Excel file. These are all the sources available. You can bring the data. Click next. Friendly connection name, Excel. You can take any name. And one important point, modern applications, this is really our Visual Studio. Operations, similar to Power BI. Even the terminology, extract data. You will find transform data, the same terminology, model data. The latest application level, same technology available. So you can enjoy it. I installed little old so that even Windows 8 machines and other machine people can work happily, tabular cubes. So Excel path, click browse. And this is the source. And it has first row column headings selected. Yeah, my source has column headings selected. Test connection. Successful. Click next. Username. This is my username. Laptop 7 PCS Brew 5 Winnet password. Windows user ID password. Go to this. Mention. This is called impersonation. Providing credentials to connect to Excel. These two connect to Excel. Excel source in the machine. My current Excel source to connect. These are the credentials required. And we call this process impersonation. So impersonation means overwriting credentials. During election time, you will find many places. Impersonation is crime, impersonation is crime. The same thing it is. But here compulsory required. Once again, mentioning credentials to come to respective source. Click next. Select. What are the tables you want to take into your cube database level? You can take all also, but I'm taking limited so that I can have quick relationships, tables. And you want friendly names. The dim and all you want to remove, remove it. Users, this is friendly name, location table. And I want student table also, but student table, all columns I don't want. Then highlight, preview filter, preview filter. Click on this. What are the columns you don't want unchecked? I don't want country code. I don't want state region, etc. columns. Click OK. Applied filter. After retrieving data, friendly name changed, filter, filter option changed. Option changed in the sense, required columns I selected. Click finish. And this is by default import mode. So this table data system retrieve, date table data, location table data, student table data, user table, fact table data. 
close. Total six, success six, cancel zero, error zero, close. Okay, right. Where is that? You can go to view menu, solution explorer. You can see that this is my solution name. This is my project name. And this is my model, tabular model. Solution, project, tabular model. Now the tabular model tables are this. Course mode table, date table, location table, student table, user table, fact table. This is the date table. Location table, student table, users table, fact table. All tables are available. You extracted and you performed two small operations, filtering, front line names, creation. Fine. What next? Relationships. Go to modeling area, model view, diagram view. Or, see this is modeling, model view, diagram view. Or, you can go to diagram view, this is the one. shortcut way you can click on it establish relationship this is like power bi modeling establish relationship fact table student id to student id dim student to fact table location id to location id Course mode to mode ID to mode ID. Take user table. User ID to user ID. I already explained in our regular classes what type of relationships we can establish between the tables. I already explained. Now date table, I will minimize it in case you feel complex with look and feel, you can minimize it. Student table, user table. I'll minimize user table like this. I'll minimize student table like this. Now, location table is okay. Date table. Date table, I will connect to young query date. Date table, I will connect to join date. Date table, I will connect to course under date. I'm making a role playing table. It's a role playing table, but one column is active. Enquiry date is active, the first one which you connected. One, this is role playing. For example, between user table to fact table, by direction relationship you want to establish. Click on this relationship. You can take here directions, both the tables direction. This is called by direction. 
In the data modeling part, I clearly explain what is bidirection relationship. Click OK. If required, you establish. But how to establish here, I'm explaining here. Now, you can create hierarchy in this area. State, location, district available, you can create. Go to state, right click, create hierarchy. Location, hierarchy. State. I want to move district into the state hierarchy. Right click, add to hierarchy, location hierarchy. I want location name into hierarchy. Right click, add to hierarchy, location hierarchy. State, district, location name. So this is all about relationships. Once you have proper relationships, you can go back to grid view, grid view. With the model menu also you can go or shortcut you can go. Fully extracted, little transform, model. What next? Calculations. This is an area you want to create measures you can create measures and those measures are called calculated measures what do you mean by measure single value a single calculation value holder in case multiple values required in a column level required for example that difference between these two you require separately in a column level, these two difference I want, these two difference I want, these two difference I want. This is called calculated column. Set of values in a column, and we call it as a calculated column. We will create now one by one. Like now, I will go to calculate column first. The difference between these two required very simple. Right click here, insert a column so that the column will be created after this, after this, and before this. Insert a column one way, add it. Insert a column, column is ready. You need to write a formula. This is the area we need to write formula. This is called formula bar. What type of formula? Tax formula we need to write. Tax formula equal to actual fee. Actual fee minus discount fee. D, you click on it. It will show you like this. Select it. Actual fee minus discount fee. Click save. This is save symbol. Ready. The difference between these two available. But heading is not good. You can double click and change. Difference fee. Actual fee minus discount fee. Difference fee. Next. I want to sum up discount fee plus tax amount this and this you know variable right click insert a column or second way is there column menu add a column but it will add the column at the end add a column it is adding end 
right here equal to discount fee plus tax amount click save I will change the name total fee. So you can add in between or you can add and can I move it? Yes, you can move it in case you want to move. You can move like this, highlight and move. This is a fact table I did. Even date table, you want to do calculations, you can do. For example, I want year and month year month combination you know very well column menu add a column already ready equal to there is a function called format format i'll take a column called date column here comma year month year and month full you will get year and month you can change it sir is it really required sometimes in the report level you need information like this that's the reason you are creating column so based on your situations if really column required insert sorry column add column column add column or insert right click insert a column two ways you can do if you require columns what if you require calculations you go to fact table calculations like some average last year value etc for example actual fee total you want highlight actual fee come down here there is a symbol here aggregation symbol summarization symbol I will click some. Now it will show you the total in the down. Sum of actual fee colon equal to this is the value. See the expression. You mention here aggregation symbol. This is the expression system row. This is the output given. Column, sorry, measure name, colon equal to. This is compulsory. Measure name, colon equal to. Expression. For example, discount fee total you want. Go to this. Sum of discount fee colon equal to sum of factor table discount fee save ready you want a difference between these two measures any any cell equal to difference actual fee underscore discount fee colon equal to sum of actual fee minus sum of discount fee these two differences click save sir one question sir yes please sir here just wanted wanted your confirmation so diff underscore fee is a calculated fee and sum of diff, uh, DF is called a measure. Both are different. Yeah. So, this is set of values in a column. So calculated column. Calculated column. Single value with result. So calculated measure. Measure. Okay. Sir. Okay. Sir. Measure is always single. Okay, sir. Excellent. I want last year value. Go to this.
go to this cell. Last year discount fee, colon equal to calculate. You can say total discount fee, some discount fee, but for last year, previous year, dim data, a date table, no dim date, date of date. Press close, press close. Finding the total discount fee for last year. I want two years back data or two years past data. Two years past discount fee colon equal to calculate sum of discount fee, the measure which you created, comma, parallel period, parallel period, date table, date column, comma, number of interval, two. Interval is year, year. This will give you two years, but next you must take minus for past. Two years past data. Like this, what all the calculations you want to create, create. I will create growth. Growth colon equal to sum of discount fee minus last year discount fee. Two measures. Growth percentage I want. Growth percentage colon equal to divide growth comma last year discount fee multiplied by 100. You don't worry about the blank sender. Which last year data it will give you? That minus one, I think you have. No. But current year, you need to select, right? When you select current year, then the respect to current year, last year data, you will get. As you did not select any current year, so no last year. Don't worry about this. With respect to data modeling, these two are called fully additive measures. Fully additive measures. And this is called as these two semi additive measure. And these two called as non additive measure. So fully additive, semi additive, non additive measures. We create the calculations or measures in this area. In case you want to show a KPI. KPI always talks about current versus target. You want to create very simple. Take discount fee or actual fee. Anything. So sum of discount fee. Right click. Create KPI. KPI. Measure actual fee. So sum of discount fee. In the actual fee, this is your current value. This is your target value. Current versus target. If 50% or 70%, current value less than 70%, last to the organization. Current value, current value less than 70% of the target value. This is current, this is target, last to the organization. If it is in between 70 to 90, okay. If it is more than 90 in the actual fee, then good. You can take your icons here. As I'm taking three conditions, for current and target evolution, I'm taking three bulb symbols, traffic light symbols. Yeah, this is traffic light. You can take icons like this.
you can take icons like this. Any icon you can take. Click OK. This is called KPI. We have multiple measures. Current versus target analysis measure. KPI. So in the tabular model level, we create more and more the calculated measures, calculated columns in the real time. More and more. This more and more. This more and more. These two are only important in the tabular queue. Very important. Okay. Now, you want to apply security also. Possible. Go to model menu. Roles. New. I'm adding here user connected. Whoever connected, they need to see respect to data. Permission. Read permission. Only reading. When people come to this cube, they can only read it. But who? Users. User table. Equal to. Asking me DAX filter. Asking me DAX filter. Mention the DAX filter. Users table. Desktop name equal to username. DAX function. If Madhu user connected here, Madhu name verify, the user table will give you user ID. That will be passed to the fact table. Fact table level user ID matched. As it is a minute to minute table, you will get respect to data from all. If Kishore user connected, Kishore desktop name validated in the user table, user ID system will give you. And the user ID passed to fact table, matched, and the remaining tables will get the data based on the user ID match. This is a row level security, user connected. Or you want to allow everyone, then new. Everyone access. Permission. I'm giving everyone read or administration permission. Everyone, I'm giving administrative rights. Your wish, read access. Processing means loading, data loading. Cube level, right now we are talking about only data reading. So data loading and calculations. But regular refresh, you want to do cube level. Then go to administrator, sorry, processing. Processing indicate a refresh kind of, uh, not refresh kind of, Refresh operation the Power BI level. How refresh works in the Power BI? Getting source data and moving into data set. The same way here, it will get the data and move into tabular cube database. Processing, nothing but getting source data and moving into tabular cube database. I'm going for admin rights. You don't want to allow anyone to work on this, then none access. Two roles I created one with everyone administrator, user content read, click OK. Security also applied. What is the pending one? There are a couple of more topics required. As a Power BI developer, now not required, so I did not cover. Step one successfully completed. Step two level, this is completed. Transformation completed. Relationships completed. Hierarchy completed, column, calculated column creation completed, measures creation completed, KPI completed, row level security also applied. Finally, deploying is pending. We will deploy now. Deployment means, deployment means from here, the data the structure, everything move to cube area, this area. 
already this is having temporary database you want to see refresh this is temporary cube storage area because your ssd is opened with data ssd is opened with data the same thing it is showing here in case you close ssd it will not be available here this is called temporary workspace area temporary storage area the database but i want permanent one if that is the case go to this build build menu the next menu deploy deploy solution what all the projects available it will deploy right now only one project available i go for either deploy solution or deploy project anything is fine as we have only one project you can go to deploy solution or deploy project in case of multiple projects available specifically a press project you want to deploy specifically a project you want to deploy then go to this let me go to this no problem i'm deploying the project so from here structured data everything moved into database level see deploying metadata structured loading completed and data also available data loading completed close seven total seven success cancelled zero error zero done close now go to even you can see the message deployment successful nothing skipped nothing failed go to this right click refresh this is a cube database permanent cube database temporary expanded connections tables these are the tables you have taken roles two roles available what all you prepared successfully deploy and available here in case you want to see the table data or any right click new query tax tax language query we need to write you want to see the data of fact table evaluate press start right fact table data fact payments execute so it's running this evaluate nothing but display display fact table data it is showing here you want to find out total and average from the fact table discount fee then create a row row of total discount fee comma sum of fact payments table discount fee column comma average discount fee comma average of i will put here average of fact payments discount fee brace close one row i am creating one column heading value another column heading value click execute row created total average so this is a way you can write queries and see the result you can perform data evolution or any other operation in this area so our object is creating a tabular cube with tables roles and other options now we need to use it as i told you at the beginning of the session two by two ways one is analysis excel level per cube level multiple places second one reporting we go for analysis remember this name analysis services server name control a control c i will open excel click on excel click on this i want to come to the cube please see this how do we come to cube from excel data get data data get data from database analysis services 
server name. This is my server name. Windows authentication only. Next. This is a model. My model ready. Click next. No. It is connecting to temporary one. Not temporary one. I want to connect to permanent one. Permanent model. Click next. Finish. No problem. Asking me. I will take the model is fine. But you want pivot table or pivot chart for your analysis. Or only connection required. I want pivot table for analysis. So data comes to the worksheet, worksheet one. Data comes to the worksheet one. And pivot table also available. So you can go for by default pivot table analysis. Click OK. See, this is pivot table, pivot table columns. And here you will find all the measures. See the fact table, all the measures you are able to see. This is measures area, measure group area, KPI ready. Date table is available. Course mode is available. Student table available. Fact table available, all available. What I want to do is, I want to analyze user ID wise. I will take user ID, user ID, see row level, this is row. Column level, what do you want? Column and value level, user ID wise. Current year discount fee, last year discount fee, two years back discount fee. See values in this area. In this area, it is showing you. So user ID row is current year, last year, two years back. You want growth, growth. You want growth percentage, growth percentage. What all you want, you take it. And I want to filter year wise. Year you take in the filter level. Or else you can do one thing remove user from here. Year you place in the row. Now user you take. Our location, location or user, your interest. We will take your user only, user here. So row section indicate this. These two indicate this. Filter indicate this. And if you go cancel this and look at this, 17 data current year for 17 16 not available so these are empty for 18 17 data available so last year is this but 18 two years prior data not available empty 19 previous year data is this two years past data is this it is showing me growth the value is same here the difference is minus growth percentage negative 74 and here the difference is this positive 40 percent like this all calculations working perfect and you want to filter for a particular user go to user id and select here 1002 i'm selecting okay 1002 user details you want 1003 user data 1003 or 1003 and 4 Click multiple value selection, three and four. Click OK. Three and four data selection. Like this, whatever you want to analyze, analyze in the table. Not only table, you want visuals. You can take visuals and analyze. This is analysis. 
Excel, Procure, Proclarity, Multiple Tools, Usages, Analysis. I'm, you want to save it? Save it. File menu. Save. I will save under 7 a.m. Tabular cube analysis in Excel. Okay. How to connect to Excel? How to analyze it? Clearly available. See this pivot table analyze, analysis. Close it. Now, what about Power BI level? Very simple. Click Power BI desktop. Directly get data. Analysis services. Click connect. Server name, paste it. This is my server name. This server name. How many modes it is showing? Import connect live. Import means from the server, from the specified queue, structure and data comes to this. But in the real time, when you have less volumes of data, we go, so we prefer to go for it. Less volumes of data. But mostly analysis services, we go for connect live because they contain more data. In case one GB or less than one GB data available, we go for Excel only source. Why do we require cube database? So always cube databases contain more data. So we prefer connect live. In case you want to write a query, you can write a query, DAX or MDX query, but optional. I'm going for connect live. Click OK. There are two available. One is primary, one is temporary. Primary cube. This is the model. You can double click on this or click OK. Sell the model. Now the model model tables and all come here. No data view. If you look at this, no data view. And it is live connection. Directly it will come to cube and bring the data whenever you work with the visuals. And these are the tables available and no data view. Not only no data view, even you cannot add data. You cannot transform also. Because the tabular cube, whichever you connected, having fully transformed and fully model data. And what you need to do is directly you go for, you want to see the relationships, go to relationships, see this. This indicate live or direct query, you cannot modify. See location hierarchy available, fact table connected. Everything connected, data is a role-playing table, data also connected. Whatever the model we established in the tabular cube, the same model as it is we got here, including bi-direction relationship, role-playing. So Power BI level, no burden. Directly go to your visual, for example, pie chart, pie chart, year-wise analysis you want, year-wise, year in the legend level, Value level, I will take discount fee or actual fee. Blank year data, 19 year data. Seventeen year data, eighteen year data. You want table data? Take table. Whatever the visual you want to take. When it is showing the data, it will come to cube and bring it. Year wise, I want 
measures. See, these are the measures. I will use it. Here wise, sum of discount fee. So this is a sum of discount fee KPA. KPA looks like this. Sum of discount fee. Last year discount fee. Growth. Growth percentage, etc. But here it is coming with aggregation. Let me explore bigger. Aggregation. Go, go to this option. Don't summarize. So year wise values it is showing me properly. So what are the visuals you decide to take? You take it and you can save it. File menu, save. Batches, 7 a.m. When I take. Tabular queue, live connection, report. You can save it. I will close. You can see the size also. What is the size of it? 8 KB. Why? No data. Nothing. Simply system contain to cube database and bringing it. In case data changed, we need to refresh data here only. If source data changed, the Excel data, we need to refresh here. That concept is called processing. Then Power BI level, just you need to refresh to get this data. Power BI level, no need to refresh as it is a live connection. So Power BI report will come to this. And if it is refreshed, the fresh data, it will show you. Hoping end to end process you understood. Now, last one. If I close this SSDT and if you refresh here, no more temporary, only one database available. This is a primary database. As long as SSDT opens, as I mentioned in SSDT level, workspace server is this the database with temporary instance maintained not temporary instance, temporary connection maintained. If you close the SSDT, the workspace server information closed. Concluding before closing the session. This is your Excel source. From here, by using SSDT or Visual Studio, you created a logical queue with all concepts. And you deployed it. Now cube database was ready. So here deploy indicate logical queue structure plus data data optional structure plus data moving into tabular instance this is deployed next processing if excel source in this situation because our source is excel excel source data changes to get into tabular instance tabular instance we go for process option so if data changed here to bring into cube database then process option last the question how power bi people Our Excel analytical people get fresh data. So your source data process happens. 
in the cube database as it's a live connection live connection power bi report or dashboard will refresh automatically not refresh power bi report or dashboard will get live data from the respective database so if source changes you you need not do anything in the power bi side do it cube side only that is called processing this is source to report process and then many companies using this at the beginning of our class i showed you a couple of opportunities and all the opportunities following the same method source data changing the analytical people as developers process the data into cube reporting people they share the report to the respective people after the cube refresh so that the respective browsing people or customers will see fresh data so this is a concept i plan for today and i successfully completed it.